One of the things that we don't have as humans is this kind of echolocation where we can use sounds to determine where food is, what types of food it is, and kind of the, the location in space and time. And these little guys, members of the leaf nose family, the phyllostomids, have a tiny little leaf at the tip of their nose. And people think that it works like sort of like a satellite dish as a focusing mechanism so that when they're using their, their echolocation that they produce in their throats, these high-pitched sounds that we can't hear, they're actually focusing it through that little leaf and then also getting back a very focused piece of sound so they can collect even more information from whatever they're putting out into the atmosphere. So these guys are really specialized in, in defining their food. Um, for these guys, it's fruit. So they're using their sense of smell and also their sense of hearing and voice. They're using their echolocation through their voice to find their food in the forest and also to navigate their way through a really complex um, forest. Because these guys fly underneath the, underneath the um, canopy in kind of the lower areas of the forest, there are a lot of branches, a lot of leaves, and a lot of obstacles for them. So they use this echolocation to find their way through these really interesting um, complex and challenging environments. This bat species also has a very, very broad wing for an animal of its body size, for a bat. So this really broad wing this way helps it turn really quickly through the forest. Animals that fly in really large and open areas have long and narrow wings, kind of like an airplane. Uh, they don't have really good maneuverability in small scales, but these guys are like little jet fighters. They can travel really fast and corner really sharply as they fly through the forest.